project playtime. Do I know what that is? Not really. I actually kind of had to look it up because apparently like people know about this. I don't. And it's mostly because I don't play horror because <laughs> I'm scared. So this game, Project Playtime, is based on some other games called Poppy Playtime, or Poppy's Playtime. And essentially it's just, you are a toy builder, and you are starting, trying to solve some puzzles, and avoid the toys killing you. Now this concept in Project Playtime is that you are in a team of six versus one, where one is the toy that tries to kill everyone, and the six are just kind of like solving the puzzles to run away from the toy. You may think, wow, where have I heard this premise before? Friday the 13th, Evolve, etc. <laughs> it's not groundbreaking. It's okay. You know, like if it's not broke, don't fix it. The thing is, both of these games aren't insanely popular either. <laughs> the ratio of success does not seem that high, but you never know. Before we continue, if you like good games and good vibes, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe because I have plentiful of that on my channel and I'd love to have you Board. Let's continue. Mind you, to give it some points and some credit, it is free to play, so you don't have to pay anything. I mean, I'm sure they'll try to put some cosmetics in there to kind of like spice the thing up a little bit, you know? Now, what is the first kind of things I observed from the two trailers that released recently? It doesn't look too scary. It looks really well lit, which I honestly think that it kind of like detracts from the scariness, because part of the whole idea of having scary toys following you is that you can't see them, you know, or that they're kind of hard to spot, but when it's literally super brightly lit, you can see them everywhere, so doesn't seem that scary. It seems more kind of like running away from an enemy than actually getting scared by that enemy. I also see that some of the monsters are like, I mean, they're kind of scary, but they don't seem that scary. Like there's one, I'm sorry, I'm not like a poppy playground, poppy playtime, whatever, kind of like, you know, connoisseur, but I know that one of the toys are pink. You know, it's kind of like a pink toy with, you know, like long legs, like a daddy long legs, right? The doll doesn't have a lot, you know, actually like scary about her. It's, it's, a pink, kind of like long-legged doll, and that's about it. You know, there's no teeth, no kind of like creepy eye. You know, to kind of just throw you off a little bit and be like, ah, you know, scary. It just seems a little, you know, just soft. You also like, when you look at the previous games, the previous games looked terrifying. I would not be able to pull that off and that's okay. You know, I know my limits and weaknesses. Scary shit is my limit and weakness. <laughs> the previous ones actually looked like dark, kind of like, you know, something's gonna pop out at any moment. Kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's original type vibe. It seems cool. You know, it seems like a fun time but this just seems like something I would play. The bar is low. <laughs> there are some good things though. You know, I don't want to completely discredit their efforts. I'm gonna say it looks a lot better than the previous ones. I can tell you that, like they definitely, whatever effort they did not put in scariness, they definitely put in the art department. And it looks like it is a ton of fun with the right crowd. You know, maybe hanging out with the boys or the girls or the theys, whatever you want to call your people. It's all just pop into Project Playtime. It's all just go. And it, it seems like a fun time. You know, especially you get a couple drinks in. So I don't know. I feel like it is a really nice game. It looks like a really nice game to play in parties of multiple people. I think it would be fun to play it with friends. I don't see myself necessarily enjoying it outside of that scenario though. Now, mind you, this is kind of early. So like, hey, they could make it more frightening. They're still on time. At the end of the day, if they make that, they're going to change the ambiance quite a bit and it's going to feel a little better. There's another positive thing of it being multiplayer. And no, it is not the beautiful microtransactions that will probably be included at some point instead the continuity so it does well usually multiplayer games tend to last a little bit and you're able to enjoy it for a couple years to come if it goes horribly damn would i get this piece of gaming material i would not or Never mind. If I had a friend who had it and wanted to play, I'd probably do it. On my own, I probably wouldn't. If I'm being honest, I would just just stick to some multiplayer game that I already know or have friends that have so that we can enjoy together. Kind of like Phasmophobia. Like I, I just don't see myself playing this game unless a friend has it or just something pushes me to use it other than the fact that it's a new game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I The trailer just didn't really shock me giving me too much. I don't know, too much heebie-jeebies, you know? It didn't give me anything. It didn't give me fear. It didn't make me shake my bones, you know? I don't know, just not my kind of thing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I upload videos every single week about tech or gaming. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and same wolves as well as join the pack on Discord. Thank you for watching, my dudes, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>